Third time? Third time. Third time. So, talk about this presentation better be good. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> no pressure. Hey, hey. You left me hanging. Oh. Oh. Other one? Woo. There we go. I still feel like I got something there, though. <laughs> Hi, my name is Brandon Bishop. I'm with the Colorado Springs Channel. What the Colorado Springs Channel is, is a hybrid television network featuring shows about Colorado Springs and a database of awesome businesses like the ones that every one of you probably represent here in town. I have been a, uh, actually, let me stop real quick. I brought my cupcake lady too. See? You may not remember my presentation today, but you'll remember, hey, it's the cupcake guy. He brought the... Yeah, those were awesome. So, so go say hi to Jessica. Get her card if you got events or anything coming up. She's amazing, and the cupcakes are ridiculous. Anyways, uh, I got into television as a small child. Yes, I am a city boy, born and raised in South Detroit, as Journey would say. And uh, we had nothing. As a, as I remember, a big gray house that was like had rats in the basement to side, and I thought they were dogs. I remember that much. And I would eat like cheese puffs and they would lick the stuff off my hands. I was a gross kid, sorry. <laughs> but uh, we had nothing, but we did have a television set about yay big. I don't want to show my age too much, but it's a 13 inch black and white television set that had aluminum foil and screwdrivers on tops for antennas. Does anybody relate to this issue back in the day? That's the old first world problems we used to have. But well, we got maybe 10 channels on that stuff, and I was the kid sitting there with a piece of paper and probably a crayon, coming up with my own TV show ideas and uh, making up my Friday night lineups and all this stuff. And just, that's what I did as a kid. You know, I didn't have a lot of friends, apparently. So I would uh, just sit there and make up my own television network and make up my own TV shows. All these years later, I'll get to that in a second, the... Uh, <laughs> the um, uh, a few years later, actually, I got into uh, TV again through the music scene in Detroit. I had a public access show. Do you remember when public access shows were a thing? I was on, I was interviewing bands and just going around to the club scene and 21 and over clubs, even though I was 17 years old, but they never asked any questions because that's when I learned the power of having a camera in your hand. It's a pretty fantastic little thing. And I had a show called Detroit Live, which was just bands and and interviews with bands. We started off with local bands and three years later I was interviewing Guns N' Roses and Metallica and all these, you know, hair rock bands that were popular in the day. And it was fun. It made me feel like a big deal even though I was just a kid. But the, um, I was on between I Love a Charade and Polka International. It was right in that prime spot right there. On a, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, so... I got to do that as a 17-year-old kid, and it just made me fall in love with TV more. I had my own TV show as a 17-year-old kid. It was pretty cool. And we won, actually, a couple local Cable Ace awards. And what can I say? I look back at that stuff now, and I cringe, because I think my hair was down to here. <laughs> and I had a bandana covering up my bad zits at the time, because I was a 17-year-old kid. And it was, uh, yeah, it's brutal to watch now, but it was a lot of fun. I thought it was hot stuff back in the day. But... Um, you learn later that like when you're in your 20s, you look at your teens, you go, oh God. And then you're in your 30s, you look at your 20s, and you're like, oh God. And you look at your 40s like I am now and look at the 30s and go, oh God. So I imagine I'll watch the tape of this when I'm in my 50s and be like, oh God. <laughs> just, just get to the point, Brandon, my goodness. Uh, so after that, I uh, joined the army. I was in the army for about seven, eight years. And uh, sure enough, TV creeps into that as well. It, uh, I was in Korea for two years, and I started a TV show just with a little camcorder that actually still exists today, and this is like 20 years ago. So pretty proud of that, and a newsletter that I started because I was basically doing anything I could to not work. <laughs> I admit it, you know, I was a lazy soldier, but you know, still did my part. But um, so I had this little TV show. We'd go around and interview generals and stuff like that, so... TV was once again ruling what I've done. 
After that, I got out of the army and weird as it is, I was a professional wrestler for 16 years. Why is that funny? I take that very seriously. No, I'm kidding, it's, it's very funny. I'm wearing very tight pants and rolling around with other people while breaking a sweat in front of people cheering my name. It was weird. It's not something you do every day, but it's, uh, I did that for every day. Anyway, so I'm running a wrestling company for 13 of those years and I got kinda, it starts to hurt after a while. You know, Like I said, when you hit those 40s, it's like, ouch. This doesn't feel as fun as it used to. So after wrestling all over the country, I canned that career and then I, uh, wanted to keep doing something. I had this whole roster of wrestlers and I'm like, okay, well, let's do something with them. So we started doing like travel shows and paranormal shows and cooking shows and fun stuff like that. Then the wrestling went away and then that came up, which brings us to something called Asai TV, A-S-Y TV. That is technology catching up to that little kid's dream that was sitting in front of that black and white TV. Uh, advents like streaming technology like Roku and Amazon Fire and Apple TV and all this stuff. It caught up to that dream. Now anybody could really run a television network. A good one, that's another story. So, getting close? Wow, I didn't, I didn't talk about anything. Okay, so ask me questions about uh, Asai TV, starting with uh, how did we get to Colorado Springs Channel? Go ahead. How did you get to Colorado Springs Channel from TV. Wow, you're so intuitive. It's... Okay, so I had a side TV. We're available in 81 million homes around the world. Uh, we have shows that we film all over the country. But I wanted to do something, because ever since I've been in this scene, I moved here in 2006, I wanted to do something with you. I get to know so many people, not only from the wrestling business, not only from a side TV, but all these different endeavors that I'm doing. And I meet all of you at events like this and all the little networking groups and stuff like that. So... I wanted to do something basically for you and for this city because I love it here. It's, it's freaking awesome. So we filmed a bunch of shows that are just about Colorado Springs. And like I said, the Colorado Springs channel is a hybrid of original TV show network and a database of businesses like yours. So how do we make this thing happen? We talk to you and we give you a stupid, incredible, inexpensive deal on a film. We make a three to five minute documentary style promotional film. You own it, you air it, you share it like you want to. And then we also air it on the Colorado Springs channel. My goal is to have it like slash Netflix, Angie's List, all into one. There's nothing like it in the entire planet of Earth or any other planets that I've been to. So, thank you. Sometimes you gotta wait for it. You don't have to. Oh, next question, please. Oh, I messed up. The second microphone is missing, so I'm going to use the second microphone. Hold the volume in the sky. Otherwise, let's keep the questions coming. You'll just have to project your voice so everybody can hear. Yes, sir, Bob. Okay, talk about, talk about this, because we're talking about entrepreneurs here. Talk about this as a business model. What's the business model behind Colorado Springs Channel? The business model behind Colorado Springs Channel, like I said, it's a hybrid between original TV shows and uh, business database uh, featuring your businesses. So, you get with me. We come after you. It's, it's, it's like I said, like, like Netflix or Hulu. We all have that stuff. We all have Disney Plus. We all have Amazon Prime. It's free for our viewers. But the businesses that are on the database part of it, you pay, normally it's $39 a month. Anybody who signs up today by simply sticking a business card into that little plastic crate over there will get it for 30 bucks a month. So you'll save $9. And that's how we make profit on this thing. Also 10% of all of our profits go to the Asai Cares program, which is our built-in uh, charity organization, which is direct to family, not going through any third sources. So, next question. We've got one from Ray. Okay, so tell us a little bit about the demographic of the people that are watching these channels, where they can find access to your shows and stuff like that. So as a business owner, we can relate and say, okay, well, if I was going to market myself, this makes sense for me to talk to you about that. Sure. We've already had over 30,000 uh, unique views on the springschannel.com, which we have not launched yet. So we're launching it in the beginning of summertime. And I think that's a lot, to be honest with you, without any kind of advertising or anything. Uh, by fall time, we're going to have billboards, we're going to have everything, uh, and it's free for anybody. The demographic is everybody. We have kids shows on there. My son has a show on there where he goes around the different arcades and fun stuff all over the city. There's a show about senior citizens called New Horizons on there, which is about get busy living, not dying type of thing. 
And uh, there's really kind of everything in between. There's cooking shows on there. There's a show about the Michael Garman studio. There's shows about old Colorado City. There's, show, there's tons of stuff. And we're getting ready to work with that beautiful bearded man over there. That's you, Mr. Naughty. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> You're the only one there with a beard that I can see. So. So we're getting ready to do shows with him. We got a show about breweries with, uh, raise your hand, wherever, wherever, there he is over there. So if you got a show idea, please, by all means. And I promise to show up, James. Um, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, yes ma'am. Oh, we got a show with you as well. How about that? About the homeless situation. <laughs> These episodes or the show, how many episodes does the show have? How often does it get ran? Um, how do you pick the person or how do you pick the people that you're going to do that? Is it monthly? Is it weekly? weekly? Is it every six weeks? Is it every quarter? The frequency of it. Thank you, Frank. Do, do I have to repeat all of that? I think we all heard it. Basically, if, if you've got Netflix or Hulu, you... If you've got Netflix or Hulu, you realize that there's really no rhyme or reason to what they do. It's just sometimes they'll put a whole season up there. Sometimes they'll do one a week. I tend to do things whenever they come at me. So we can knock out five episodes. Like when we hit the streets and start doing your show, we'll probably knock out five episodes. And then we put them up. And then we do it again in a few months. Or we do one episode. We have shows in Vegas where we do one episode every three months. Then we have another show in New York City where we do three episodes every month. So it's... Uh, it's really, there's really no rhyme or reason to it. How I find people, um, I could be in a room right now and everybody here has a story, right? So everybody has a, a certain talent or a certain passion and I like to latch on to that. It's kind of one of the things I got from being a pro wrestling promoter. You kind of look at somebody and you go, oh wow, there's that. Let's use that, let's do something with that. And usually they're on board. They're like, yeah, I want to do something. I've always wanted to do this, but now you can. Just like I wanted to do it, uh, you, you set a date and then you do it. That's just how things are done. That's how things get done. You don't overthink anything to death. So if you want to do a show, uh, hello, I'm Brandon. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so how do viewers find your channel? Great question. Uh, you go to springschannel.com right now. And uh, you can go there right now and kind of see the skeleton of it. There are a lot of videos on there from local businesses as well. And there's a whole bunch of TV shows as well to check out. So you can go to springschannel.com. And uh, it's simple as that. You look at it. You can actually sign up your business right there. And it's, uh, like I said, it's usually 39 bucks a month, year term. And, but if, how many people have ever bought film for your business? It wasn't cheap, was it? Nope. I don't say video because that reminds me of like weddings and birthday party guy. You know, I don't want to be the videographer. I call it film work. I'm a filmmaker. Um, nothing against video people, sorry. <laughs> I love you people. Trust me, I need more of you on my team. Um, and thanks for doing all the weddings and stuff for me so I don't have to do that anymore. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, I'm trying to get my head around the bag. Okay, so if I give you $30 or $39 a month, Shoot me in some arbitrary time. So I'm not, this is all respectful, okay? I'm trying to figure out when will I show up and what will I get out of showing up? Okay, doing those times. You, we all buy print, radio, TV ads. This is just another format of that. I will work at, out of time that works for you. I do travel a lot, but it's a very simple process. Anybody who's done film with me before knows how simple it is. We come up with a time, we meet up. It's basically as simple as asking you a bunch of questions on camera. I'll film every inch of your place, uh, talk about your products, your services, your, and just talk about your face and your place. It's your story, it's not a commercial. It's not, come on down to you know, Frank's Sausage Factory. It's not that at all. I don't know why I gave you a sausage factory. <laughs> There may, there may be more to that, I don't know. I'm trying to keep that on the down low. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Literally on the down low, yeah. <laughs> now, now I want to go out and get breakfast for some reason, but anyway. Um, so yeah, we get with you, usually about a week and a half later, we finish your film, 
You own it. It's your film. It's not like, you know, the, the networks or anything like that where it's like, we'll film this thing for you, but, you know, if you want to use it for your website or social media or something like that, it's, you have to get permission from us. That's the pain in the butt and usually pay like eight to $900 for something like that. If not more, I haven't bought it in a long time since I can just do it myself now. But uh, it's, uh, you own that video. That's the value that you're getting. That's what you're mainly paying for is that video. If you can find any other advertisement in town, no offense to any other advertisements, you're all needed, but if you can find any other advertisement in town that costs 39 bucks a month or the special that you're getting today, which is 30 bucks a month, if you can find anything, please let me know because I'll buy it too. You, you can't. You can't find it. Yes, sir? But how long is that commitment? One year. So one year commitment, $39 a month, that's it. If I don't renew my contract at the end of the year, what happens? You still own the video, but we just don't put you on the Springs channel anymore. Right, so I'm just not like yeah. more advertising anymore. I still get the video, it's mine, the royalties are mine, etc., etc. et but I just no longer display it. Pretty much. So not only do you own the video, but you get to be on the Springs channel for a, a year, and it's so inexpensive that it's crazy. Okay, all three of you ask questions at one time. I'm getting quite um, So that 39 bucks a month includes this video? Yep. Wow. Exactly. Say that louder. <laughs> Say wow louder. Like, that's a good deal, Brandon. Wow. It's okay. Yeah, somebody over here. Yes, sir. So you mentioned that you had shows in Chicago and New York. Is this one of the main reasons why you are you doing a, a channel in New York? Are you doing one in Chicago? And <laughs> Asai TV has shows from all over the world. Um, Colorado Springs channel is all about Colorado Springs. So, but we still film everywhere. And I guess the, the model in my mind is, um, you know, there's there's Colorado Springs, there's a, there's a Denver magazine, there's there's one that replicates someplace else. And are, are you thinking about scaling it outside of Colorado Springs eventually to the multiple channels? I didn't even want to talk about this because it's a whole other thing, but I have a project called The 22, which is Eat, Drink, and Adventure, and it's the top 22 places that we're filming in every single state in the country. That's the next big thing that we're doing once this has uh, legs. So after that, it's all about The 22. She's pointing at her watch. Next, next question? Yes, ma'am. Once you make the video, is there a chance to update it? That is where, uh, you know, it's just like anything else. If you want more, you, you give me a call and then we, we work out a price and we work out a thing. So, you know, we are still a business, but this is like a introductory thing. Yes, sir. How many uh, businesses are currently advertising with you and then what's their kind of projected return on investment? Over well, we haven't launched officially yet. Once you're on the Colorado Springs channel, your business is my business. It's, uh, I treat it just like I, it's, I'm part of a you know, shareholder or something like that. So uh, as far as projected returns and everything like that, I don't have any numbers yet because I haven't launched. I'm trying to get launched. If everybody in here says, hey, Brandon, we want to do this thing, and they put a card in that little box right there, and I set up a time with you this week, at that point, we're going to be full on the channel, which we can never be full. We could put a million videos on there if we wanted to, but you know what I'm saying. It's, we want to be at least at 150 videos, which right now we're at about, I think, 57, but we just started, so. Yes, ma'am. So my question is, so the 480 for the year, right? and then after that year the video is mine, then if I wanted to do another year, is that another 480 and we do a new video? It rolls over until you cancel. Okay, just so like you're still using that same video or the next year can we no, do, you do a new video, video at that point? And then are you doing both videos at the same, and running both, or is the new one take the, the precedence of the new? Completely up to you and what you want to do. Perfect, thank you. When does this brand deal so launch? Right now, let's do it. Let's get some party hats on and... <laughs> Honestly, like I said, you can go to springschannel.com and check it out right now. You can watch a bunch of videos, you can watch the stuff. I want to have an official launch party with every business that's attached to it. And we'll have, maybe we'll do it here, I have no idea. But we'll just have a, a really good time with it and have a big party. Oh. Sorry, they're distracted. Are you making faces at me? Yes. What, what I do? Back. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm a bullet point type of person. So bullet point this out for me, okay? So we go to springschannel.com. We have a video. We have a video, and that video, is that played as an ad attached to your TV show, no. or do they have to click on that video to actually watch it? What bullet point that experience out for us? Sure. You go to springschannel.com, and you have different options. You have original content, which is original TV shows, then you have the business database, and then you have like events. If you have events coming up, we can put them on there as well. And 
uh, then there's uh, contact information and stuff like that. So you'll be able to choose what you want to watch. This side of things is original shows. This side of things is a business database. So when I, it's not a commercial. These are small documentary style promotional business films. Three to five minutes to start, but we can go longer, we can go shorter. It's really up to you. I'm, it's, it's a very, I'm keeping it a loose format, and I'm keeping it very inexpensive because I want you to join. I want to build this community. And it's, uh, like I said, it's nothing like it in the entire planet of Earth. I've looked very hard because I was hoping to get some ideas from somebody, but there's nothing out there. So we're starting here in Colorado Springs, and maybe, like you said, maybe eventually we'll, we'll go city to city, and this is just what I do from now on. So, are we done? Oh, we got one more question. Oh, the no question. Yeah. Yeah. The question. It's a very good movie. So I wanted to go with the sky and let's get that question asked. So as a Colorado Springs community, what is it that we can do to support you? Could you please repeat that question? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. To support you as a Colorado Springs community, what can we be doing? Oh, okay. That, okay. Got it. <laughs> It's really simple. You take one of your business cards, or if you don't have a business card, then write something down. Put it in that box. I will call you later. We'll have one-on-one -on -one time. I'll discuss everything that's expected from you. I will tell you all my responsibilities to you. And uh, we do some business. It's as simple as that. You can sign up on the website at uh, Feature Your Business. And uh, that, that's what I need you to do. Like I need everyone to do that today. So we can build this thing, and honestly, we can raise more money for our charities. We can, if you got TV show ideas, throw them at me. I'm most likely gonna say yes. If you got a good story, if you don't have a good story, it's like I want to do a show about cats. Like, okay, well, I'll probably say yes to that. To be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Oh yeah.